Okay, so as Jennifer mentioned, I work for a company called Venify. So at Venify, we secure trust by protecting keys and certificates, all keys and digital certificates. Um, essentially, Venify works as the immune system for the internet, constantly assessing what's trusted um, and protecting those keys and certificates that are trusted, but then detecting the untrusted keys and certificates and making sure that those are fixed, um, automatically replaced and blocked. So that's a quick highlight of that. And we're going to learn a little bit more about what we do um, with A10. So a really important topic is SSL decryption and SSL visibility. As you know, um, there's a lot of encryption going on, hiding bad guys, hiding malware, etc. So we're going to learn why encryption and digital certificates are creating those blind spots in your existing security networks and how and why it's important to secure keys and certificates um, that's necessary for decryption. And then we're also going to learn how the, the joint solution between A10 and Benefy work together to uh, maximize decryption and eliminate blind spots. And stop me at any point in this presentation if you guys have any questions. So just to give you some quick stats, um, as I mentioned, encryption is, uh, is growing rapidly. So according to Gartner, between 15 to 25 percent of enterprise network is encrypted with SSL TLS today. So it's, it's, it's growing rapidly, but the, the downside of this is that organizations are blind to encrypted traffic. Uh, so how serious is this threat? So less than 20% of organizations with a firewall, an IDS, IPS appliance, or a UTM appliance are decrypting SSL TLS traffic. That's according to Gartner. So what that effectively means is that the bad guys can evade over 80% of your um, security defenses today. Uh, essentially, again, you know, allowing malware um, injected and hidden in SSL traffic because none of these systems um, can detect that. Also, according to Gartner, um, they estimate that by 2017, 50% uh, of network attacks will use SSL. So that means most of your attacks, um, or most of the threats that are out there are going to be using SSL to, to hide um, in your existing security tools that you have today. So let's take a look back. So the, the bad guys know, um, the bad guys out there know of these vulnerabilities. They know that keys and certificates, which are basically the foundation of trust, you know, that, that there's a weakness here. So we can look back five years ago um, in 2010. Um, how many of you guys have heard of the Stux, Stuxnet and Duco? Right, so we can trace back the blueprint of some of today's attacks back, dating back to Stuxnet and, and Duco. And then in 2011, we've actually seen the bad guys started to up their ante by compromising certi uh, certificate authorities. So the likes of DigiNotar and DigiCert, for instance. And then again, in 2012, not only are we seeing compromised certificates, but now we're also seeing SSH keys being compromised. And how many of you guys understand the importance of SSH keys? Exactly. So then continuing on to 2013, we're seeing how many of you guys know this, this dude? So everyone knows Snowden. So we've seen that Snowden was able to elevate um, his privileged status by using SSH keys um, and certificates also to detect, uh, to evade, uh, evade detection. And that's why, how he was able to seal that data. Um, again, that's becoming mainstream. So the usage of keys and certificates is becoming a mainstream um, usage as an attack vector. So. Also, we've seen in 2014 much more advanced cam uh, attacks and campaigns, uh, things like Heartbleed, Poodle, uh, Shellshock, um, or the mass malware, for instance. And then, of course, 2015, we've seen data that you know certificates are now being sold on uh, an underground market for as far as you know as far as like a thousand dollars. They used to be between seven hundred and nine hundred dollars last year, and now it's up to a thousand dollars or more in the underground market. We've seen digital signed malware doubling every quarter. Um, and again, more man in the middle attacks. We saw the Lenovo Superfish, the freak attack, the huge breach with Anthem Blue Cross, so on and on and on. And then how many guys, how many of you are aware of the Scenic Certificate Authority? The, the Chinese, Chinese Certificate Authority. Guess what? Untrusted by Mozilla and Chrome, still trusted by Apple and Microsoft. So you can see the, the ramifications of that. So basically, Gartner says that certificates just can no longer be blindly trusted. They've actually, uh, they've actually acknowledged that. So what does that mean? So 
That means that every single key and every single certificate that's out there, it needs, we need to ensure that, that they're protected because that's just one less place for the bad guys to hide. So if you're failing to decrypt traffic and maximize decryption with all your keys and certificates, that essentially means that your threat detection investments, things like your Fire Eye Box, for instance, um, your IDS IPS systems, those are really only working half of the time because if you don't have access to all the keys and certificates for decryptions, you're effectively undermining all the security systems that you have, all the security controls that you have in your in your in your environment. So, this is where Venify Trust Force comes into play. So, with the 810th under ADC appliance, this the 810th under ADC appliance is a high performance appliance that can inspect and um, inspect and detect SSL encrypted traffic. Where Benefit Trust Force comes in is that all those web servers and all the systems that are in your um, environment needs the keys and certificates. So Benefit Trust Force comes in and automatically makes sure that you have access to all those keys and certificates and then maximizes the amount of decrypted traffic, inbound traffic, and therefore eliminates all the blind spots. So here's a quick demo, actually a quick pictorial of how the Venify and A10 solution work together. So first, Venify finds all the keys and certificates, securely delivers them to the A10 appliance. And if you have a bad guy out there that wants to inject bad malware into the SSL encrypted traffic, A10 can then um, decrypt that SSL session and then inspect it and then forwards it to like an NG firewall or an IDS IPS appliance. And then blocks that decrypt that decrypted traffic is sent to that, those devices and then blocks that malware. But without Venify, most of that traffic can't be decrypted because those keys aren't available. So really with that joint solution, it, it enables 100% decryption and inspection of all that inbound traffic, uh, encrypted traffic, and ma maximizes the visibility uh, into the hidden threats. So a quick summary um, of the Venify platform. Um, as you can see, we've got the Trust Authority, Trust Net, and Trust Force products um, interoperable across your enterprise ecosystem. Um, we integrate with multiple CAs, uh, HSMs, uh, databases, et cetera. And again, with the, A10, uh, with the A10 joint solution, we are able to maximize encrypted traffic, decryption um, and maximize the amount of decrypted traffic that's inspected and automatically deliver uh, the keys and certificates and therefore uh, enhances your existing security infrastructure.